Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dom, and I wanted to bring you a quick look at iTunes Radio. This is brand new. It's inside of the Music app in iOS 7, so let's go ahead and check it out. We'll launch the Music app here, and as you can see, it's the first tab inside of the Music app. Now, we have featured stations at the top. We have an add new station at the bottom, and you can scroll through these stations, and as you see, we have trending on Twitter. Let's go ahead and check out that station, I guess. Tap on a station, and it will load open the music player here, and we can make sure my volume is down so I don't get busted for any copyright issues. Now, you can skip songs, but there is a limit here. During my testing of iOS 7, I was only able to skip tracks six times, so that is the limitation as of now. I don't know if that's going to change in the future, but in the beta version here, that is the limitation, and you cannot seek through a song. It is exactly like a radio station or any other app like this where you just have to let it play through. Now, you can add these items to your iTunes wish list. You can click on never play the song, but I actually can't do that because I already skipped too many times. But like I said, you can add them to your wish list. You can purchase the track right from iTunes. You have the little info button right here. You can get the title information, pricing. Uh, you can create a new station from this artist right here, and then it will make its own little station for you with music similar to that artist. Now, you're probably familiar with this whole radio process via apps like Pandora or Spotify iHeartRadio, stuff like that. This is exactly the same. It's just native on your device. So it kind of eliminates the need to download any of those apps. Unless, of course, iTunes Radio isn't as good. But in my testing, it seems to hold its own against the competition. And I really do enjoy that. Now, as you can see here, I already own this album. So it'll give me that little iCloud download button. It will remind you to download the album or the song if you already own it, which is kind of a cool little feature there. And uh, as you can see, when I switch stations, I do regain the ability to skip tracks again. Let's go ahead and make a, another station here. Let's back out. We will go tap on the Add New Station button. And you can type in an artist, genre, or song in there. I'm going to type in No Effects. And once you start typing, iTunes will start populating search results. And you can tap on one that suits your preference, and it will create a new station from that artist. Now, I can go into the station here. And as you can see at the top, we do have the pricing. Like I said, you can tap on that to buy the song if you'd like. But let's back out of this here. Another cool feature is that this is integrated with Control Center for obvious reasons. You can control your music right there from Control Center. And another cool thing with iTunes Radio is you can actually specify artists that you do not want to play on specific stations. So at the bottom, we have Never Play This. And if you tap on that, you have the ability to specify artists that you would not like to hear while listening to this station. So I'm going to type in Snoop Dogg. I don't want to hear any Snoop Dogg while I'm listening to No Effects Radio. Pretty simple. And at the bottom, you can delete the station. You can also change the name here at the top, as you see me doing right there, renaming it to Cool. Let's delete it. Delete that station. We can delete the next one here. It's very simple. It's got a nice, simple workflow to it. And like I said, in my testing, iTunes Radio held up against the competition. We'll see how long that lasts or if it improves above and beyond the normal radio apps that are available in the App Store. But go ahead and let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I hope this was a helpful video to give you a deeper look at some of the great features that come with iOS 7. Thanks again for watching, everybody. This is Dom, and have a great day.